Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple but cute yarn ghost. But you could use these to hang up as a garland or you could just simply hang them around your house. So you're going to need something to wrap your yarn around. And I have here, I'm using a game to wrap mine. And uh, the size of ghosts you uh, want will depend on the size of the item you're wrapping the yarn around. So I'm going to be doing a small ghost. So um, if you're going to do a larger ghost, you'll just need to get a larger item to do this. So you're going to need to wrap the ghost if you're making a small one. You're going to wrap it around 50 times. And if you're doing a large ghost, you're going to probably want to wrap it about 75 times, which is a lot more. So you're going to want to take the yarn and hold it down before you start to your item. And then just begin to wrap it. So I'm going to do 50 times. So you're going to cut the end and you're going to carefully slide it off of the object that you've wrapped it around. You want to hold on to it so you don't um, let go and then it unravels on you. So you're going to hold on to the top part of the loop. And yes, I've let go for a second. But you're going to hold on to that top part of the loop. And you're going to be um, tying it together. And so I've cut off another piece of yarn. And I'm going to tie like three knots down. So those strings are going to be used to hang your ghost up with. So now holding on to the top part of the loop, we're going to take your scissors and we're going to cut through all of the bottom of the yarn to open up the bottom of your ghost. Alright, so now we're going to take another piece of yarn and we're going to cut that off and we're going to use this to tie around and make the head. So you're just going to wrap it around and you're going to go ahead and tie down three knots again. Like you're tying over your shoelace. And we're going to cut the ends of those off down close to the knot and careful not to cut your knot open and unravel the whole, well I suppose if you cut that knot you could tie another string to it again and redo it. So here you see me I'm going to adjust the uh, string around the little ghost's head 
just to where I kind of want it. You could, if you wanted, if you could fit inside the head, you could squeeze inside the head like a ball of paper or maybe some cotton balls. Um, this is a smaller ghost. It's a little bit harder just to poof out the head a little bit more. Um, I'm doing the small one. It really isn't necessary. I, I like it the way it is right now. So now I'm going to take the scissors and I'm just going to... Uh, trim off the bottom edges that are hanging down and they're uneven just to even out the whole bottom of the ghost more. And you could do different colors of yarn. Just make sure you have two contrasting colors um, so they stand out. Uh, the black yarn that we're going to use on this will be the eyes. So I've cut off a piece of black yarn and I'm going to weave this through the head of the ghost where I want the eye and I'm just going to weave it through a couple strands of yarn, two or three. Try not to pull up on the yarn too much as I stick it underneath. And then you're going to go ahead and tie this down twice. and trim it down close as you can get it without undoing the knot. And I actually went back and I kind of trimmed down a little bit close. I didn't have it quite as close as I wanted it. And you're going to turn around and you're going to take another piece of yarn and do the same thing on the other side and make the other eye. And there we have the cute little yarn ghosts. They're really easy to make and you simply just need two colors of yarn and a pair of scissors. And I hope you like my video. Please subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.